So I want to get to the blog because yeah. that is m- going to be released. Right? Yeah. It isn't it isn't officially live no, yet. Uh, it Monday, might be by the time I drop this. Though. Yeah, it'll okay. be up by the time the, the podcast goes out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've just been like writing, writing, writing like crazy, reading like crazy because books are a pretty big part of it so far. Mm-hmm. I was actually just doing a photo shoot yesterday for – uh, a book and a review I did on some footwear. Um, but basically like the, the concept of unjaded is this, like right now with social media and how democratized, um, things are in terms of becoming a quote unquote creative or an artist, people are very sensitive and very touchy about the things that they like and the things that they produce. Um, but art, and a lot of things that you just put out into the public sphere, those are subjective. Mm-hmm. You know, people are supposed to have a reaction. You know, people aren't just supposed to say, oh, that's so good. You know, oh, that's awesome. You know, in reality, somebody could be a terrible photographer. There could be a terrible shoe. But just because somebody's name's on it, you know, you feel like you have to like it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of uh, people misinterpreting respect. You can yeah. respect the person and respect the process and all the work they put into it and just not like it. Yeah, totally. Um, and I don't think there is enough of that at all (laughs) yeah so unjaded is about um being able to like freely and openly like criticize uh and still respecting things Mm -hmm. um so right now there's a lot of positive stuff that i've put up just because i've been in a space where i've been in a good head space Mm -hmm. and i'm putting more energy into things that i like and care about um but there's definitely some stuff that i've been working on that's like hey this is really just not good yeah. You know, it's like, it's fine. Like a great example are the, uh, the Travis Scott dunks that just came out. He did a, a shoe with Nike, uh, and he had like plaid and Paisley as the print for them. And he had rope laces. And to me, I was just like, these are gross. And he did a little <laughs> ad campaign with Nike about it. And he just kind of looked like a, a kook. Um, a kook is just like in skateboarding at somebody who is kind of like a culture vulture and is like acting like they know skating and stuff. And he had like a, a VX camera, and he was using like a, a fisheye lens for like a long lens thing. So when you're farther away and using like long lens when you're really close and uh, to the trained eye, you're just like, this is so dumb. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like this is kind of like a waste. Like you can put out shoes. That's fine. But like, don't try and like mime somebody else's like culture or things that they like. Um, so, I, you know, the blog isn't going to be up by the time that that's not relevant because everything moves super quick. But that's like an <laughs> example of it, you know, where it's just like, it's, sure. it's just not good. You don't have like you can like it, you know, but like, yeah, you could uh, still respect Travis Scott yeah, for his music absolutely. and whatever and be like, I didn't like these shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny, like Travis Scott to me is like a super polarizing dude. Like I like a lot of his music and there's other music. And I'm like, that's just not good. It's fine. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that he's a terrible human. I don't think yeah. he should never record another song again. It's just like, yeah, I don't like it. Well, and there's a difference between constructive criticism oh, yeah. and then just being a fucking hater. Oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> you know? definitely, definitely. Or being a troll, <laughs> which there's unfortunately way too many of those yeah, online. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing that's so wild to me is everything's so polarized. Like, you can't just be like, oh, you know, like, that's fine, I guess. I don't particularly like it. And be, like, respectful about that, like, mm-hmm. respecting the process and the energy that people put into things. Because you can put a lot of energy into stuff and just sometimes, like, things just don't come out good. Mm-hmm. Um but at the same time, like, it's just it's so negative and so, like, positive and so it's just too polarizing. You know, there's not enough gray area. And I think that's kind of indicative of everything that we're kind of living in right now. Well, it's sensationalism. Yeah. I mean, it's literally all about how can I get you to click on this? Yeah. I want you to click on this. And the only way I'm going to do it is with the most salacious title possible. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say something that misrepresents maybe the situation. And then in the article, I might clarify that that title is yeah. kind of bullshit, but it, they don't care because they got you on the title. You know, that happens a lot. Uh, Pitchfork with their music reviews. I love Pitchfork. Read Pitchfork all the time. Great music taste. Pitchfork Festival is going to be 15 years this uh, summer in Chicago. They do their album reviews. They'll put like a, a wild title. Somebody else will write the whole piece. And then like, I think it's the staff will come together or like the editorial staff will come together and rate it. And, you know, you could have like a, like the Kanye album, I think the mm-hmm. most recent one he did, the like the seven, gospel one. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. The one before the last one, I'm not a Kanye fan anymore either. <laughs> uh, like kids see ghosts or, uh, it was his individual yeah. album, but on that run, there was like kids yeah, see yeah. ghosts and the push one. It was that album. Yeah. Um, they the person who wrote it up was like this is really isn't that good and then the editorial staff gave it like an eight or something and it was just like yo 